joined by Brian Dowling, a former Big Brother winner who has gone on to become a well-known so well and known. loved yeah, presenter and entertainer. <laughs> He's here to tell us about oh, his upcoming presenting job on TV3's new game show. You're going to be sitting on a fortune. Brian, good morning. <laughs> you did not write that intro because it was too nice. It was too nice, yeah. I would have said much nicer things Can we just about say, you. give it up for Claire in traffic? My <laughs> goodness, I was loving the intensity on that camera. There's a nasty bend there in Cork and there's one on the key. I was like, well, I want to go there. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> Don't be asking me tricky questions about Don't the show. Don't be asking me tricky questions about the show. I've not shot it yet. No, you've not shot it yet. But you, you sort did. of know what it's about. I do. I know that I have a job. Can we you celebrate did. that? <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? Sitting on a fortune, yes. big Saturday night show big Saturday for TV3. Night family um, entertainment show, Saturday nights um, in the autumn. It goes out around September, October. Uh, but we're going to have three teams of two. So there could be uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, there could be sisters, could be best men. Or there could be best men, best friends. It could be firemen, I've been told to say. Firemen? There could be firemen. Don't know they why. must have some firemen lined they, up. They, they must, they must. You'll have a ball with that. <laughs> More than one. Oh, and now, and, dun, dun. <laughs> it's, a, it's a breakfast show. And Brian. on each show, potentially, they can win up to 15,000 euros. And they'll play uh, lots of games. There are two rules in the show. One, uh, don't leave your seat, because when you do, you lose money. And two, you have to leave your seat. I leave you with that conundrum. <laughs> OK, right. So don't leave your, lose, leave your seat or you lose money. But you have you to have leave to your leave seat your to play seat. the games, yes. OK. So for the length of time they're up, they'll be losing money and giving it to their opponents. Ah, oh, right. It's a cross between million pound drop and family fortunes. Right. OK. There we go. Sounds fantastic. It's going to be so fantastic. And you are the ringmaster. I am the ringmaster. <laughs> Playing the games. They were like, just be yourself. I'm not sure you want that <laughs> on a Saturday night. Oh, go on, just be yourself. They ask where they're going to get it. They're going to get it. So we can't wait to see it. So are you excited about I'm it? I'm really excited because obviously, you know, I've always struggled over the years to get work in Ireland, whereas mm. in the UK I've been quite lucky. Yeah. That I, I kind of work all the time. It's always been a battle for the last 13, 14 years to get work here. Why do you think that is? Because you like, looking at your resume, reading notes on you, yeah. you have done so, so much, much stuff in the UK. Yeah, I, would, I just think I was given the opportunity. I think also maybe being Irish helped, but in Ireland I always found it was, I don't know if it was the fact that I was openly gay or maybe I was too much, because I started obviously um, on SNTV Live and Kids Telly, yeah. a hugely successful show. So when I, I always hear was always knocking, knocking, knocking on doors and it was uh, Wagon's Den that was really my first gig here, mm. which was only about two, three years ago. Yeah. And now here, but I think I'm here because of Jeff Ford who uh, was the controller of Channel 5, yeah. who of course picked me for Big Brother uh, and he's back over here now so he's brought me with him. <laughs> <laughs> you're I'm his plus one. You're moving, where, you're moving where the head of entertainment yes. goes. I was like, Jeff, you're now in TV3, so <laughs> any chance I could get a job, please? <laughs> and then he says to me, if I was still at Channel 5, you'd still be hosting Big Brother. <laughs> Let's talk about that, because yeah. I mean, how... When did you win? What, what year I did you I won the show the first, first time, yes. Alan. Let's just yeah. get oh, that no, right. Ultimate, yeah. 2001. 2001. And second one... The, then there was the ultimate big In brother. 2010, and I started hosting in 2011, and I hosted six, four celebrities, uh, two of the normal ones, but I got paid for eight. I like saying I got paid for eight. Because <laughs> I signed up... When I'd done the one in January that Ryland had won, I got this really weird feeling, and I went, I'm not coming back. And Why did you get that? Was I it just, just, just or... I knew that they were changing controllers, and you would just get that vibe. And I took a picture in my dressing room with all of my friends, and went, this is the last time I'll be in this room, and I've now got it hanging in my living room. Really? Because I was right, yeah, I swear, it just felt that vibe. And even the rap party, people being a bit distant and not talking to me, and I was like, that's really weird. And then, of course, we found out through the Sun newspaper, and no one told me. They rang saying, we heard you lost your job. <laughs> Don't be so ridiculous. I haven't lost my job. I like, a contract. Like, I know you, and the, the, I know you well from doing panto and yeah. stuff like that here. But the cheerio that, panto. That, that, to, that to you, like, you have this face of, yeah. like, oh, happy, happy. But no, I was devastated. Gutting, I was yeah. more embarrassed than anything because mm. I've been on the show and I won it. And I'd gone through it from having my life changed to winning it, the ultimate version. I, I felt like it was such a personal attack on me because I felt like I kind of represented the show in, in a positive mm. way. And then to lose it so publicly and, the, and for no one to sit me down and have a conversation with me and for a tabloid to ring me and tell me and then for everyone in that at five and end of go, oh yeah, we're not really sure. And then I waited for about two months. You're in, you're out, you're in, you're out and then you're but I out. think I think what they were trying to do with you that as well it was stifle you a little bit they weren't allowing you to be Brian well Dowling. no I mean yeah I mean on the show there was always there was always a difficulty in trying to be myself I had to dress a certain way look a certain way and behave in a certain way and I think I wanted to be more of the housemate that people remembered but it's a massive primetime 
show. Yeah. You know, it's huge. It's the biggest show they have on Channel 5. And even to host it for those six series was an amazing opportunity. Yeah. So I'm very thankful for it. So you're now going to be sat <coughs> Mr. Saturday Night. Miss, I've gone from Friday TV Night 3. to Saturday, Saturday Night. Saturday Night TV 3. Yes. So um, sitting on a fortune. So we look forward to it. Can't wait. Um, come, obviously come into my dressing room. I will. Out, drink I will. We'll drink champagne and just That's what we're doing all morning. <laughs> I told you not to say that. We need, to, we need to go back over to Claire now. Oh, my goodness. You. Claire, take it away. <laughs> no. Look at she's smouldering on the camera. <laughs> Brian, we look forward to you. We look forward to seeing the show. Of fortune. And uh, maybe we see you in Panto again. Oh, he's behind you. <laughs>